This is the all-new Community Connection. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. It's summertime, and it's time to get ready to go off to college. Now, are you ready? We are joined today by High School to College Center to talk about the preparedness that they provide right there off of Del Mar and Skinker. I'm joined today by two exceptional young people who've been around the block a little bit in this area. Kendrick and Kelsey, hello to you both. Hi. Hey, Jay. Thanks for having us. You're all giggly. <laughs> Are you streaming live right now? He is so PR, which is good because our last conversation, we were sorting through what you were going to do. And that's the whole idea of why we're here and why you guys go to work every summer. Let's talk about the high school to college center, and then we're going to get all off into your business. Let's start with you, Kelsey. All right. Well... First off, we're located in the Del Mar Loop, um, 618 North Skinker. Um, it's a pretty good program. I, I attended the center when I first graduated and needed some assistance. Um, I'm actually an independent student, so I literally didn't have a lot of people supporting me or telling me I need to do this, I need to go do that and register for this. So I went to the center because Kendrick knew about it somehow, and he was my friend. He introduced <laughs> me to it. And they helped me, like, more than anybody has helped me, honestly, sure, sure. Um, through the college process. So it's a really good center, very good center. So you you were referred by Kendrick. What were some of the questions you had at the time? Well, first off, I didn't know, like, everything that I needed to do to get into school. Mm-hmm. I was planning on going to Mizzou. Um, I had got accepted. I got an award letter. I had a couple of scholarships, but I, I really didn't know what the next step was, honestly. So they helped me get my immunization records. They made sure that I had a way to get there to um, school. And also um, they I applied for an emergency grant because I, w- I needed some financial assistance to get school supplies. And they provided me with that as well. And just general uh, information about scholarships that I could apply to. And I got some networking skills from the scholarship foundation. So I know people there. If I ever need any questions, I could shoot somebody an email and mm-hmm. they can help me out. Nice. So, Kelsey, before high school, the college center would have been where? And the Kelsey after is what? Hmm. I think. Before the high school to college center, I would have just been drifting and kind of probably missing out on certain deadlines and dates and just procrastinating on figuring out who I need to reach out to. And the high school to college center provides me with that link between uh, what I need to do and how I need to do it. Mm -hmm. So they provide me with that help. And so now I kind of know like where to go. I know what I need to do and when I need to do it and when scholarships are open and how not to miss out on those deadlines (laughs) and everything. So I'm definitely more aware of how to be successful and network to get what I need to do. Super cool. Is that what brought you back to help others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, One thing. A summer job, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, Another thing is just networking and honestly getting to give back to the community because I my one of my dreams is to be able to give back to St. Louis and help out youth here because I had a hard time growing up. Um, And, you know, it's it's always nice to know that people who's going through the same things are there to help and, you know, give back. And you kind of get more comfortable around people when you know that they've been through the same things for you. Good for you. What do you hear? What do they look like when you see the the newbies coming in with the same look that you had in the years past? Yeah, honestly, it just reminds me of myself. People come in either looking for scholarship money or not really sure where they, where they want to go to school or what they need to do to get into their school or get to their school or orientation or whatever. And it just takes me back to when I was just gra- when I had just graduated and was an oncoming freshman and just feeling like a small fish in a big mm. pond. And it's just like, ah, where do I go? Mm. What do I do? Who do I talk to? How do I get this done? And yeah. it was it was it's scary. What it's do you say to comfort them? What do you bring to to their peace of mind? I just let them. The first thing I let them know is that, hey, I'm a college student. I go to UMSU. Um, you know, I'm your age. I'm not like 30, graduated in 1970 or anything. So um, let me just say, <laughs> while that's seemingly a long time ago, actually, in my perspective, you know, just a few, yeah. you know, oh, a few short years, decades ish. Yeah. I think I think the important thing though is just to let them know that I'm not that far ahead of them. Right on, yeah. I was right there with you just not two years ago. Mm-hmm. I still utilize the center for my own needs when. 
when I if I need them. So it's yeah, just to mm-hmm. let them know that we're not we're not that different. Yeah. What I hear you say is that you give them hope and a reference point for yeah. for them through your life. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Cool. Um, pretty cool. Yeah. I love it. Well, Kendrick, look what you done did. Okay. <laughs> you have spread the word. You have put in your hours. You have given your time, your experience, your smile, your bright light yeah. and joy. And you are back again. Yes, back for round two. <laughs> back for round two. So what year is this for you? This is, so I'll be coming into my junior year of college. Shut up. Last You're year still was, looking like a baby. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're doing good. Yes, it's going it's going really well. I've been glad to see all the new faces at the center and be able to see that people are really getting the word out and really taking this uh, this path off to uh, college really serious and wanting to get help. And it's real cool to see it pay off each day that we come into the center. I really liked yeah. hearing that you said it's been busy. Yeah, it's been really busy mm-hmm. this year. We've been, I don't know who's out there telling the word or who's posting or whatever, but they're they are coming and they're they're out there and they got all their questions and it's it's not too many times you see people come out and they, you know, everybody's got questions, but they don't usually want to ask them and for people to come in there and they're like, hey, this is what I want. I, I know, I don't know where I'm getting this money from, but I need this. Um, they said I need this. I don't know what they're talking about. They want me to take out this loan and it's just like, all right, calm down. We're going to take it one step at a time. This is what they mean by that. Mm-hmm. And as your friend and somebody your age, you shouldn't take this and really advise them and not just like you can always get help and someone can always baby you and walk you through the steps. But at the at the scholarship center, we we educate them. And it's one thing to really get educated about college literacy. And that's what we can do at the center for them. Oh, for sure. People come back and they're like, well, they offer me that parent plus loan again. And I know, I know I'm not supposed to take that. So. What's a new, what's a different substitution I can do for a Kendrick or like, and it's really it's really cool it's really cool I love it Kendrick I hear you say that it's good to ask questions and and lots of them and even those that seem very obvious talk a little bit more about that so true so true so like uh, when people come into you and you have in, in a world where if you don't ask the questions you're, people just expect that you get it and they're going to give you they're going to give you what they think is best for them in their situation it may not be what best fits you and your family situation and your financial standings so you could walk into somebody's financial aid office and they're going to give you the money that you asked for but if you don't know that you don't know what that money's going to look like four years down the road. You're that 2000 that they gave you is going to turn to 8000 and you're a first-generation student, so you can't just go home and say, Mama, I need to know how much money I'm going to have to pay because Mama didn't go there. So you got to find somebody that's similar to you in the same situation that's going to be, that's going to have you back and let you know the real from the fake and really separate it. And that's what, that's what stepping out and really using your voice, the power of your voice is real, real big mm-hmm. these, these days. Yeah, and you're doing that too. So you're kind of seasoned now. Y'all talking yeah. about 1970. You got some. <laughs> you got some days behind you now, too, young man. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> so you're using your voice. What are you most advocating for? What do you most hope for for the the students that come through the high school to college center? I so. And I, I just really appreciate how you keep it real too. <laughs> yeah, like last year, like. It was like really at first it was just like a little summer job and I'm like, okay, it was really cool to see these people change. I'm like, I made my money, I made the people few people smile, but once the summer was over, I was like, mm, I don't know, like what I gotta do something like bigger, like something's gotta something's gotta be with these kids like when they need it. So I went down to my school and I uh founded the first so I'm now the president and the founder of the Black Student Union at Missouri Southern. And so like just to go down there and show them like, hey, you gotta use your voice. Like no one's gonna out come out here and you do it for you. Like everybody's got a story, it's what you make out of it. You gotta put it into play, like you, you gotta get the balls rolling. And so that's what I do at the center. I gotta make sure every day that you're not coming in here to go off to college and it might not be exactly what you wanted to do but when you leave here you're going to know that what you need to do next to get take the next step that's yeah. right that's right and those yeah. steps will then reveal more but you just kind of get yes. a few more steps forward all right well then let's send out the invitation one more time who is the high school to college center for kelsey it's for <laughs> high school graduates um not only high school graduates but if you're already enrolled in school and you're going back and you need some assistance or if you've had to take a semester off or a year off or whatever the case is if you're going to college we can help you that's right Kendrick what's your response to that 
Well, it's anybody and everybody. If you want to come out and you're thinking about going off to school, you got a question on how you're going to get back into school, you just recently graduated, you need to get that transcript sent off to that school. We're your boys. We're down at 618 North Sinker on the Del Mar Loop, right where everyone hangs out, <laughs> right across from the Shell's gas station. You give us a call. We're there nine, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, and on Saturdays from 9 to 12. Um, and we're there to help. We're, we want to see all of our people get out here and be successful and make these big moves and see everybody off to school in the fall. That's right. You said weekdays. What times again? So Monday through Friday from 9 to 3 mm-hmm. and on Saturdays from 9 to 12. And that phone number again is 314-932-6956. Do our candidates need to bring anything? Are there some things that they need to have ready when they walk in the door? You don't have to bring anything. Uh, if you don't have what, if you if there's something that you need for a second, we're going to figure out a way to get it for you while we're at the center. We're, we're resourceful. We're going to figure out a way to get it all taken care of. I love it. What does it look like when they walk in? What will they experience? Say if we, we were kind of talking folks through it. So you walk in the door, here's what you'll see. Okay, well, pretty much as soon as you walk in, you'll see uh, either me or Kendrick and one of our managers there sitting at a table. And you'll come in, you'll sign in, and then uh, me or one of the managers will create a Bridget account. And from there, they will take a survey that basically just um, outlines exactly what they have done in the college enrollment process. So we make sure that we cover all the bases. If they say, I just needed money for scholarships, but then we might figure out that, hey, you didn't send your immunization records or you didn't register for your orientation. So we have to uh, get that survey done so we know that they've got everything um, else taken care of. And then from there, they can either talk to a financial aid advisor or a college counselor um, that volunteers for our center, and they can get them help from there. So you have counselors that actually come to the center. Yep, we have yeah. actual college counselors from all over Missouri. Very nice. Yes, yes. How much time do, can someone expect to stay there on their first visit? I would probably a lot for an hour, just at least an hour. That way we can make sure that we can get everything taken care of because you could come in just trying to get this transcript sent off to, uh, to your school and then you find out that you didn't, you missed a signature on your FAFSA or you missed something and just allow each person to do what they're, uh, what, what they know they go out to look for. Mm-hmm. Do you help with FAFSA? We do. We can help you. We can help you edit it. We can help you change it. We can help you out of school. We can help you do it from the very beginning. If you just decided yesterday that you think that you want to go off to school, come in tomorrow. We're going to help you get that financial aid taken care of. There you go. That's the baseline thing. If you think you want to go off to school, then come over to high school to college center. From there, they'll help you with the rest. Yes, any yes. of your plans, understanding financial aid, getting your transcripts ready, getting your immunizations prepared, your admissions and enrollment, even how you're going to get there. And from yes. folks that know from experience, the phone number is 314-932-6956. That's 314-932-6956. Or email info at stlewisgraduates.org. There is no appointment necessary. Just pop on over to 618 North Skinker Boulevard, right there across from the Shell Station in the Del Mar Loop. Weekdays, Monday through Friday from 9 to 3 Saturday from 9 to noon. Closed on Sunday, but other than that, you should be all set. Thanks again, Kelsey and Kendrick. Make sure you find them at stlewisgraduates.org. Find them on Facebook to get current information. Of course, they'll be using Twitter to give you really up-to-date information and connections from there. I appreciate you both for being with us again. No problem. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Always right. a pleasure. Always. Always. Success yes. to you both. What's your, yes. what's your major? Early childhood education. Well, then you're going to be good <laughs> dealing with us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you have just turned yours into a full-out mega conglomerate <laughs> business that I can't wait to see you manifest. Yes, but I'm your so major excited. now, Kendrick, is? Public relations and mass communication. Go on and get it. We'll yes. be looking for more greatness out of you both. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to include in the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 314-333-8369, 314-333-8369. And for more information about our show or any of our guests, you can visit us online and listen to the podcast at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search Community Connection with Jade Harrell. You all be blessed, do blessed, and take care.